Hi, my name is Rob Adams and I am the managing member here at MindGear Labs. So we are a rapid prototyping facility and we're open to the public. We do all sorts of cool things. We uh, do summer camps for kids in science and technology and arts. We uh, are open to the general public where they can come in and work on their own projects here like they would a woodworking or a uh, metal shop and then we do short production runs for businesses and individuals as well as develop prototypes. So we have all sorts of cool equipment here. We have several 3D printers, we have laser cutters, we have CNC mills, so on and so forth, and they're open for anyone to come use. Our techs are always on staff to help people work on their projects, and we're constantly creating new and innovative ways to help kids learn and to help industries grow new products. My background is in engineering. I have a PhD in mechanical engineering as well as a master's and a bachelor's. And I have master's, uh, I have a master's degree in aerospace engineering. And I got tired after about my 10th class in nuclear engineering, so I didn't finish that degree. I have worked for 20 years uh, in the space industry and both looking at how the industry is going and the fact that I always worked uh, numerical computational work, I wanted to do something where I could build things hands-on. And so the Fab Lab was the perfect way to do that and to uh, couple into my passion for teaching people and helping them uh, uh, build great things. So my year uh, came from us sitting down one day and trying to figure out how could we convey to the public uh, the, uh, the, the idea of what we're doing here. I definitely wanted labs in the name because it should feel like your lab, you know. I own this lab, I get to come in here and, and do my research and development to build whatever the heck I want to do. You may not call it R&D when you're just sitting around playing and building things, but that's what it is. 3D printing is uh, one of the mainstays of what we do here, and there's lots of three different 3D printers on the market. The ones that we have are the most common ones, and they're called uh, uh, fused deposition modeling. And so it's simply a big roll of plastic wire, the same plastic that Legos are made out of, that's forced through a heated uh, element and extruded out onto a platform one-tenth of a millimeter at a time. And so as the head moves around and deposits that plastic, it builds up complex 3D shapes over the course of a few hours. We have all sorts of Lego-oriented projects here, or classes and camps. Uh, we have two levels of uh, uh, Lego robotics camps, one for the older elementary crowd and one for the middle school crowd. Uh, both sets of kids are learning how to program robots as well as build them and then getting to watch them execute their commands out on, uh, you know, either our sumo ring where they're fighting another robot and they're having to push the other robot out of the ring, or the other one that we do uh, is called Calvin Ball and uh, they're, uh, they're racing around on an 8x4 table and scooping up balls and then uh, firing them into goals. There are, we also do, it's not robotics, but we do Legos for the younger elementary crowd where they're building Legos and they're learning how rescue operations work in that uh, they're actually rescuing little Lego figurines from a jungle and depositing them back in the city. So they learn a lot about building, they learn a lot about how, uh, how our rescue services work, they learn about um, different sort of natural disasters and whatnot. Uh, and they learn about the mechanics of different sorts of transportation systems. Rocket City Launch was a uh, initiative that we started this year and was a rousing success. It's simply a 48-hour startup uh, weekend. So people came in uh, here at Mind Your Labs on a Friday night, pitched ideas for a business that they've been thinking about for a long time that they wanted to see go forward, and then uh, 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 these people, some who pitched and some who didn't but wanted to participate, uh, formed teams. And so these teams found different spaces here in the lab to work on those, those ideas. And by the end of the weekend, they had put together uh, the core of a business plan, several prototypes, and uh, a pitch, which they didn't pitch to investors and judges, 
uh, for the potential to you know, get capital to start their business. And so uh, we had 30 people in our inaugural Rocket City launch, and it went so well that we've been you know, asked all over the city to keep doing this, which is uh, what we intend on doing. Right now the plan is, is to have two Rocket City launches in Huntsville every year. If you're a kid and you want to uh, do things here at Mind Gear Labs, we have our summer camps, we have uh, during the school year, we have our robotics teams, we have uh, uh, ongoing uh, you know, once a month classes for different age groups, and we are starting to move out into the city working with different educational groups, homeschoolers, school systems, so on and so forth for after school and, and other activities. If you're an adult and you want to uh, start working on that cool project that you've been wanting to do for a long time, we, uh, we invite you to come down, get a membership, start hanging out with all the other people here who are working on their projects and uh, uh, get ideas, help uh, people, get help in return, and just be part of that big community. We're located at 8331 Madison Boulevard. Uh, that is just east of uh, Furniture Row there on uh, Highway 20. Uh, we're very close. We're five minutes away from uh, Gate 9, the front gate uh, on the arsenal. Our website is www.mindgearlabs.com and our phone number is 256-705-4327. So that's 705-GEAR. Uh,